everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm Lisa Belinda and I make videos about clean beauty and holistic wellness. In today's video, we are creating this gorgeous, glamorous, glowy, foxy eye makeup look. This is such a favorite look of mine. It is just so flattering. It's glamorous without being too much. It's just... Mm. So if you want to join me in creating this look, then keep on watching. So I have put my hair back and I have primed my face using the Timeless Smoothing Primer Base from Tarte. Uh, this is a very blurring primer so I focused mainly on my T-zone where I have like some more texture that I just wanted to smooth out. I like to put this on a few minutes before I apply my foundation just to really let that set into the skin because I find if you wait a few minutes before you apply foundation then the risk of the primer kind of rolling off when you apply your foundation is way smaller. So now I'm going to start by applying foundation. I'm going to be using this one from Juice Beauty. This is the Phyto Pigments Flawless Serum Foundation and I have the shade OH Cream. And I'm going to apply it using a damp beauty blender. This one is really good. This one is from Nirei. Most of the tools that I will be using today is from Nirei, but I will be sure to tell you the name of everything. And then I just dot that around on my face, focusing on the center of my face and then I blend it outwards. And then I take my damp beauty blender and just start buffing that in. Okay, our foundation is applied and I think we got a nice and even base. Let's move on to concealer. And for concealer, I'm going to be using the True Skin Serum Concealer from Elia. I have the color SC1 Chicory. I'm going to start with the under eyes. And I like to just go in straight with the, with the doe foot. And then I take the Damp Beauty Blender again and just buff that in. I'm going to apply a little bit more concealer to cover up some uh, spots and hyperpigmentation. Okay, now it's time to set the base and I will be doing that using the Veil Translucent Setting Powder from Hourglass. This is a beautiful powder. It has like a slight luminosity to it so it doesn't make the skin look too matte but it's also not sparkly enough that it emphasizes pores it can do if your skin is like very textured then i would recommend using a more mattifying powder in those areas but overall it's just such a gorgeous powder because it really locks in the base and also keeps your skin looking luminous i will dip my beauty blender in some powder and just press that in and then I will just be taking a brush this is the 102 contour highlight brush from Nirei so it's not actually a powder brush but I think it's really good for uh, applying powder because it's fluffy like a powder brush but uh, it's smaller so it gives you a little bit more control and I just, right away, I just swoop off the excess, like that. And then I will be using the same brush to apply powder on the rest of my face. Okay, the base is done. And now I'm going to apply some contouring slash bronzing. I don't like to do a heavy contour. I like to just kind of combine bronzing and contouring in one to get like more like a softer look and the powder i'm going to be using is this one from idun minerals this is the shade sommar drum 621 and this is a gorgeous matte bronzer i would say it's more on the cooler side without being too ashy so it's like the perfect product that you can do both contouring and bronzing so to apply it i will be using the 103 soft focus powder brush from nirei I start with my cheekbones 
and I kind of brush it like in upward motions. After I define my cheekbone, I like to just take it up on the sides of my forehead. And I like to do also a little bit here on top of my forehead. I don't really have like a high forehead, so I don't have like the need to put shadow there. But I do think it just blends all of it together. So I like to put just a little bit there. And then I like to take it on the top of my nose. Okay, maybe that was a little too much. <laughs> uh, and then I like to just put it under my chin on my jawline just to sharpen that up a little more and then I pull it down on the neck and then I also like to get the ears just so that they don't look white all right let's move on to blush and for blush I will be using the last looks cream blush from juice beauty and I have the shade 04 flush and this is a really gorgeous color. It's kind of subtle and it looks very natural on skin. So this is a cream blush. So I like to apply it by just dipping my finger in there and then just tapping it onto my skin. So I like to apply it mainly with my finger, but then I like to just blend it out even more with a brush. This is the 104 angled brush from Nure. Angled blush brush from Nure. And this just helps really blend out any harsh edges. And I try to keep the blush kind of far up on my cheekbone and not too far in towards the nose because I find that gives more of like a it lifts your face more. Uh, and I mean this is this depends on of course what you prefer and what kind of face shape you have I have kind of like a baby face naturally, so I Tend to want to give my face a little bit more structure. All right, the blush is applied and now we're going to move on to highlight And for highlighter, I'm actually going to use an eyeshadow that I think looks so gorgeous as a highlight as well This is from Eden Minerals. This is the eyeshadow in shade Fiel Sipa and it looks like this. It's super gorgeous and luminous. I'm going to be applying it with this brush from Nure. This is the 149 Duo Fiber Fan Brush. I mean, do you see that glow? It just looks so creamy. It doesn't look too glittery or metallic. It just, just gives you this like angelic glow. And then I'm going to apply a little bit of highlight on my nose as well. And for that, I will be using the same highlight and the 206 pencil brush. It has a very, very thin tip, so it's perfect to snatch that nose. And I just put it on the bridge of my nose. I like to pull it also up a little bit here between my brows and then... right on the tip all right now it's time to move on to the eyes and i'm going to zoom you in a little bit more so you can really see my eye up close so i'm actually going to start by applying some concealer on my eyelid as a nice eyeshadow base and i use the same concealer as i used before so i want to start by just defining the crease a little bit and a shadow that I love for that is uh, this one from Kiao Ways. This is the uh, shade Magnetic and this is just such a gorgeous shade. I'm going to apply it with this brush from Nure. All the brushes are from Nure. I don't know why I still say Nure. This brush, which is from their glitter collection, is the 210 Domed Blending Brush. Then I'm going to be focusing this on the outer edge of the eye and then like blend it up in the crease. And I take it a little further up than my natural crease, kind of where I feel the, the brow bone. I'm 
I mean, you can see the shade just blends like butter. It is so lovely. And now I'm going to be dipping into one of my absolute favorite eyeshadow palettes, the Tartelette Toasted from Tarte. This is just a gorgeous palette of earthy brown beige shades. I'm going to be dipping into Fireside and I'm going to be using this brush. I'm sure you can guess where it's from. <laughs> this is the 205 Precise Eyeshadow Brush. So I want to create a nice foxy eyeliner and uh, I want a clean line so I will be wetting the brush wetting I will wet the brush I'm going to be smoking it out and diffusing it a little bit. Uh, I will be using another brush that's not as tightly packed as the one I was just using. This is the 204 eyeshadow blending brush from, you guessed it, Nire. <laughs> so I will dip that into Fireside as well. All right, now, I want to diffuse the shadow a little bit up here. So I will go in with the S'more shade and I will be using this brush. This is the 110 Soft Focus Concealer Brush. Honestly, I'm not using brushes based on what they're meant for. I just use them for whatever the heck I want. And then I will just take that on the outer edge of this crease shadow that we applied and just diffuse that out so i don't want to go into like where we want the shadow just kind of above it just so we don't have any harsh lines and i like to take that down here as well okay so i want to add some more glam to this look so i will be applying this gorgeous shimmery eyeshadow from hourglass this is the Scattered Light Glitter Eyeshadow in the shade Reflect. This is like a gorgeous champagne rose gold color. It is just so beautiful. For this one, I will just be dipping my finger into the pot. And I'm going to be applying this on the center of my eye. And then I just blend that out with my fingertip. I mean, look at that gorgeous sheen. Then I will go in with the brush to blend it out a little bit. This is the same one that I used to apply the light shadow here to diffuse up here. The 110 Soft Focus Concealer Brush. And I will just be using that to, again, diffuse the edges a little bit. And then I will be applying a little bit more just on the center of my eye here. And I like to almost pull this shimmery up quite high, right in the center. I just feel like that gives the eye kind of a lift. Since I apply that, I diffused my liner a little bit, so I will just go in and fill that in a little bit more. All right, now we'll just pop a little bit of highlight on the inner corner and on my brow bone. And I will be using the same highlight as I did on the other parts of my face. And I will be using this thin brush that I used to apply highlighter on my nose. Then I will use the 203 brush to apply the highlight on the brow bone. All right, the shadow is done and I'm loving the result. Now it's time for brows and then I will do lashes and lips. So I will start by brushing my brows. I will be using this brush. This is the 201 slanted spoolie brush. And I will start by just brushing my brows upward and outward. And then I'm going to fill out my brows using this brow pencil from Brow Food. This is the Ultra Fine Brow Pencil Duo in shade Taupe. This one has a lighter shade on one side and a darker on the other. I will be using the darker one. Mm -hmm. 
then I will go back in with the spoolie brush and just brush through the brows because I don't want too much product in the brow or I don't want it to look like um, I fill them out so much. I like a really natural feathery brow look. That's my that's my jam. And then I always brush them upwards in the front and then I go like slightly upward and outward and then at the end I like to just snatch them. Then I will lock those brows in place with a clear brow gel. I will be using the Arch Brow Shaping Gel from Hourglass. All right, now we have a very natural fluffy brow to go with our subtle, smoky, sparkly, foxy eye. I'm going to do my other brow and then I will meet you for lashes. All right, so I'm just gonna bend my lashes real quick. Now it's time to apply mascara. I will be using uh, this one from Duff Lashes. This is the Supreme Lash Mascara. The wand looks like this. This is my first time using this mascara. All right, the mascara is on and I'm just super impressed with this mascara. It really separates the lashes nicely, which I'm a huge fan of because I have very messy lashes. And now I have just a final little touch for the eyes before we move on to the lips, which is the last step of this look. I want to just make my eyes pop a little more. So I'm going to be applying an inliner on the waterline of my eye. And this is from Eden Minerals. This is the inliner in color sand. I will zoom you guys in a little bit more. And then you just run that in the waterline. Like that. Do you guys see the difference between this eye and this eye? It just opens up the eyes even more and just gives the illusion of bigger eyes. So this is a trick that I love using. All right, now it's time for lips. And before I apply any lip products, I'm just going to scrub my lips to just get the blood circulation going and just give them a little bit more plump. So I just use a towel and then scrub my lips. All right, now it's time for lip liner. And I'm going to be using one from Sandstone. This is the color Hot Mess. And this is like the most gorgeous nude pink shade. I love this liner so much. I'm gonna start with the arch. And I don't overline my upper lip too much. I do it a little bit here in the cupid's bow. But then I like to just slightly, slightly overline them here. And then for my bottom lip, I like to start a little bit below my natural uh, line. And then I meet my natural line, so I don't overline out here, because that gives usually a very fake, not a super flattering look. Okay, time for lipstick. I will be using the Color Block lipstick from Ilia. And I have the shade Amber Light. And it goes very well together with the Sandstone lip liner. Now I'm just going to blot my lips. Just to get off the excess. And then finally it's time for gloss. And I will be using one of my absolute favorite glosses. This is the Gloss Bomb from Fenty Beauty. And I have the shade Fussy. This is such a gorgeous sparkly pink. It smells so good. And when applying gloss, I like to think of just really getting it up on the, the cupid's bow. Because that really emphasizes that pouty look. All right, the lips are done, the look is done. I'm going to zoom you guys out, do something to my hair, put some bling on, I will see you in a sec. 
All right, we are zoomed out. The look is complete. I'm just loving this look so much. This is perfect if you're someone who wants to glam up, but you're maybe not so much into a lot of eyeshadow and a lot of colors, or maybe you're not even comfortable with a smoky eye, then this is like a perfect alternative for a glamorous look and of course you can glam it down maybe by skipping the sparkly eyeshadow uh, or you can glam it up even more i hope that you enjoyed this video i had so much fun making it and just playing with makeup if you enjoyed this video then don't forget to give it a thumbs up uh, and please subscribe to my channel and ring the little bell so that you are notified on my upcoming videos that was a mouthful. <laughs> I will see you in my next video. Take care of yourselves, stay safe, and until next time, as always, stay glowing!